Hello and welcome. April Ray here, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Welcome to iMogul TV. All right, so today we have something really super interesting. This is an interesting product. This is a product that was created by a woman by the name of Cherie Fletcher. Now, I don't know if that's still her last name. Um, however, I'm just going to refer to her as Cherie Fletcher. And she, if you don't know, is the star of the reality show, or one of the stars, of the reality show um, Hollywood Exes. And I believe she used to be the wife of uh, that guy, the Fresh Prince guy, <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> That's a shame that I don't know. I know his name. I'm just having a brain fart. But Will Smith. So I decided that when I found out that uh, she had a product, and I love, you know, going ahead and reviewing products, that I would review this product. So this is an interesting title that she has. She has a, a line of body butter. Um, it's supposed to be all natural. And uh, let me just let me just show you. Okay. This is it right here. And it is called... Whoop Ash. I know, right? Whoop Ash. <laughs> I think that's freaking hilarious. Okay, so this is their body butter. And uh, obviously, you probably can't see that. You can see that a little bit. I've been using a lot of it. Um, it's supposed to be 98%, um, um, what do you call this? 98% bad ingredient free. So there's no parabens, there's no additives. Oh, it's 99.9% .9 nat natural. So there's no uh, preservatives and, there's, and it's paraben free. So, which is something I've been looking for because I've been using a lot of, um, I use Philosophy a lot. I use their body lotion. There's a lot of fragrance and stuff in there. And sometimes even though it smells really good and it goes on really good, I am in the back of my mind wondering what kind of crap I'm putting, you know, on my body. So um, that was another reason why I wanted to try this to see, you know, if I like it. It doesn't really have a major scent. It's kind of a vanilla, a very light vanilla scent. Um, the body butter, it's very... I mean, it's like any body butter. It's got shea butter in it. It's got some sort of honey butter in it. And it's really, it's nice. You know, I, it's not bad. Um, it's a little hard to spread. When I put it on my legs, it's kind of hard to spread and, you know, kind of get it in there. But once it's in, it's not greasy. You know, it's not, it doesn't give you a weird shine or anything. And basically, it's supposed to get rid of that ashiness that people of color can have when their skin gets dry. So I think that's one of the reasons why she decided that she was going to create this, which is a good idea. Um, there's also a travel version, which I think it's the cream version because it's a lot easier to spread. I use this the most only because it's so easy to spread. And this is almost empty. Can, I know, can you see that in there? This is almost empty. I use this the most because it's really, like I said, easy to spread. It's the same scent. You know, there's nothing special about the scent or anything like that. And it's also, you know, all natural, 99.9% .9 natural. She also has a lip um, butter. It's called Lip Smack. <laughs> I think it's pretty clever. You know, she's, you know, you got to be unique, right? You got to be, you got to be different. The Lip Smack, um, I haven't really used very much of it. There's no smell. I'm not, there's a, a scent that I'm not that um, thrilled about. Um, it doesn't smell quite like the butters do. I, I don't know what it is, um, but I'm not that thrilled about the scent. And I really only used it a couple of times on my lips. Um, and I can't say that it made my lips feel, uh, I think I like lip glossiness better than this is more of a, I don't know, a pasty, a paste or a wax. It feels wax, but I don't think it's wax. I, I still think it's got all the shea butter and everything like that. There's just something about the scent that kind of is uh, throwing me off a bit. So that was just a quick um, review of her line. She also has a line of jewelry and I will put her, um, her website. It's really, they're cute jewelry, cute rings and bags. And she also has sunglasses and I think she has hats. And it's really cute and it's not super expensive. So it's not like she's tail it's not like haute fashion where she's tailor uh, tailoring to the rich and famous. You know, she's 
building her brand based around affordable um, products. So I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the uh, description box below. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me and bye-bye for now.